hello and welcome back to my channel if you're new here please consider liking sharing and subscribing to my channel today i'll be cooking chicken foot soup with a little red peas so we're going to be cooking it the authentic jamaican way i hope you will enjoy this video hey guys welcome back to another cooking video it's yours truly and i'm your host for today <laughs> shan zen zen and today we're gonna be cooking chicken foot soup today is saturday and really and truly i didn't have much food in the kitchen and i haven't gone shopping for food so i decided to use whatever i found and this is what i found and this is what i'll be cooking today so we have our pumpkin have a piece of yellow yam we have the scallion thyme pepper of course we have some irish potato and some carrots and we'll be using grace cock soups the spicy one and these are our chicken foot as you can see they still have on the toe so the toenails we're gonna cut off we with some vinegar and put it in the pot yeah and then we cook it um i went ahead and soaked some red peas ahead of time and i'm going to be making some cornmeal dumpling right so it's outside we are at the back section the unfinished section of the back of my house and we will be cooking up a storm so about to start the wood fire and get cooking but first we have to oil our pot and this is the pot we'll be cooking in the soup in today it looks small but it holds it holds quite a bit all right and my taste tester is here with me she <laughs> she'll be telling you guys how the food is and be honest not, not because it's mommy cooking be honest be honest be honest if it not tastes good tell them the truth and tell me the truth so next time mommy can cook it better for you because okay. she's a soup lady guys a soup lady and a what dumpling lady so i'll be making 15 dumplings just for azania yeah <laughs> <laughs> just kidding azania actually club Zania not easy you know but yeah and then we have another gentleman from the community that we call yellow he's known as the man that can eat the most dumpling in the area and um, today he told me that I should put 20 dumplings in the soup for him. <laughs> so funny guys. But yeah, let's get right into the cooking. Enough of the talking. Let's get right into the cooking. So first we are going to boil our pot that we're going to be cooking our um, soup in. We're going to oil the bottom so that it's not so hard to wash off. So I just rub the cooking oil all over it. Sometimes I use fab soap, sometimes I use cooking oil. Um, I don't want it to take the scent of the fab soap, so sometimes it does take the scent of it. So the oil is thoroughly, so we will go on back home. So right now we're going to look some brim brim because we have the firewood set up but it needs some little fine woods they some people call it brem brem we used to call in it breche even though persons laugh after me and say breche is actually red fruit we know it's a red fruit but we call it in the country some parts of the country breche and mr clive brown one-legged fiber can attest to that so it's brem brem or breche but we're going to look some to put on top of the wood the wood fire so that it catch quickly all right so as i said we're looking some fine pieces of wood brim brim or brush it has to be dry well dry so i'm um, just breaking up the brush Putting it, putting it on the fire, putting some on top and some underneath. So when you light it, it catches from the bottom and also from the top. So everything just catch quick.
We're now adding our red peas. Okay guys, so the other day when I was cooking at the beach, I accidentally left my cutting board, my wooden cutting board, so we just have to improvise. We are going to just put down this paper towel here, and then we clean our chicken foot. Azalea, go and get the vinegar for me, please. Okay, mommy. So we have to cut off the two of them. Knife and move fast, man. Removing all the toenails, rather, not the two of them, you know, but the toenails. Then. then we're gonna clean out in between. Come yeah, on, this is a knife, a lick shot. But the knife is so slow. So, guys, maybe I'm too far. These are the chicken foot. These are the toes, the nails that we're cutting off. No toe nails. This is not shem cooking. <laughs> Remember Rastaman shem? Shem cook everything. Even the chicken head. He make chicken heads too. So as you can see guys, chicken food all clean. Everything clean, well clean, no chicken to a nail. This is not the nail, this is just a fat guys. It looks like a nail. It's just fat. Now we're going to wash it. Alright, so this is what the chicken foot looks like now. Pour some vinegar in the water. And we're washing it clean, make sure it's clean. We're gonna wash it in a second water. See all the 20 of them gone. So the chicken foot is ready. Now that the chicken foot is ready, I'm going to pour a little season on it and then pour it into the pot. So I'm adding some of my season blend. Dry season blend. So what I have in this season is basically garlic, Onion, scallion, pimento, thyme, pepper, everything blend up together. And now we're going to put it in the pot with the peas and allow it to cook. And meanwhile, we're going to make some cornmeal dumplings. why I'm doing this is because as you can see I have a little fingernail so even though I clean my hands good when it comes to kneading flour you can't play with people belly so I'm going to pour out some of the flour some salt and of course corn meal since 
with cornmeal dumpling, we're gonna put a good amount of cornmeal. And then guys, what I like to do is mix it together before I start. Some people start adding the water and then they start kneading the flour. But I like to mix everything together first. So you get a nice cream color. Then we're gonna add a little bit of water. more water then we're gonna need in our flour can you dumpling So I'm going to go ahead and make the dumpling and then I'm going to peel the food. So if you're wondering how I make the dumpling, so I don't allow my fingernails. As you can see, I only hold the dumpling in my hand. I use this one with the gloves on the food safe flush to knead in the flour, right, to make the dumplings. That's how we make a see perfect and nice dump. So check it out guys. Dumpling ready. And now it's time to peel the food and wash them. So as you can see the pot is bubbling guys. Peas almost cook and the chicken foot them almost cook. We had to put it down low because it was too the pot was too high when it was on the, the steel. We can have to pack it around a little with something because the breeze is burning out the fire too quick. Burning out the wood them too quick. So we'll make it bubble a little more. We're gonna drop in the dumpling now. We're going to peel our pumpkin. If I'm not using it in soup, then normally what I do is I will um, wash it in the skin and cook it like that. But since we're using it for soup, then I just skim the dry part a little. Just skim it. Really peel it. Right. Lots of pumpkin seed guys, look there. Lots of pumpkin seed to plant. And this is a good pumpkin. As I say, I'm just using what is in the kitchen because guess what? Never going to market today. So this is what I found and this is what I'm using. Not a lot of food, but still can run a boat or a ship. 
Anything you want to call it. It's a pot of bubble, guys. Pot of bubble. So we're adding the pumpkin now. And we're going to cover it back so the pumpkin can cook quick, quick, quick and fast. For some people, it's just potatoes. So we know it as Irish potato in Jamaica. We know it as Irish potato here in JA. Pumpkin should I actually go in before the dumpling, you know, guys? But I know it's still gonna cook. So we're gonna clean up the cooking area a little, get rid of some of the peeling skin. So we're gonna use it for compost, composting. I don't know if you can see me guys, but now it's time to peel the yam. So we're going to be peeling, as you can see, it's yellow yam. Nice yellow yam. Oh, I don't know about anybody else, you know, but I love me some yellow yam. And no, I don't have any planting for the first time in such a long time. I have no yam in my garden. No yam on the farm. But uh, I'm looking to get some yam heads from Trelawney very soon. So I can plant up some yellow yam. Because you all know that I love having my own food. Cooking from my own garden. Right? nice piece of yellow yam though oh i can hear the pot bubbling guys bubble pot a bubble <laughs> I'm telling you guys, the heat is on. I'm going to have to make me a nice glass of lemonade. I'm going to wash this and then wash it again. So in the second wash, I normally just put a little bit of salt in the water whenever I'm cooking the yam. That prevents it from turning black. Even though when I'm cooking soup, normally the yam don't turn black but there's sometimes when you're cooking like food by itself and the yam just change color pan you just wash it off in some salt water or you can add a little oil to the pot clean water so we wash the yam um, again see a little bit of skin I don't like to see them the black dogs but the man the yam in a guys I'm not gonna waste this water I'm gonna use it to water my flowers see there guys yellow yam nice and clean all right I'm gonna wash the carrot into the carrot and put everybody in all at once
So we're gonna cut some round. And we're gonna cut some in some different dimensions. for scallion and wash it. I'm not using so much scallion. So I'm just gonna wash it. Time, dry time. I'm going to put in the time quiet as yet we're washing our pepper and now we're going to clean the garlic Basically drop in three pegs of garlic. There we go. Three pegs. So we want to check if the pumpkin start to cook out. Once it starts to cook out, we're just gonna crush it out. So guys, we are going to add our food to the pot. Carrot, yam, and Irish potato, the garlic. Now we're adding in our grace cook soup. Spicy. We're gonna mix everybody together now. Mix him up. Blend him up. I'm gonna crush out the pumpkin. The pumpkin them cook already, guys. And the chicken foot them start to burst up. So you know what's it them cook. One foot start pop up. Foot cook. Crushing out our pumpkin in the soup. Authentic Jamaican chicken food soup with red peas. Now we're going to add some butter, guys, and our escalion. Yes, real flavorful pot. To share out the soup so as you can taste it we'll go down in at the bottom so she can get some of the peas take it out chicken foot as anyway so chicken foot no no foot no you don't want to walk how much dumpling cook two more I guess a three dumpling? Yes. Four dumpling may I give you? Okay, I love your dumpling. You want more peas? Yes, please. Okay. Can you take out the um, onion and stuff? There's no onion in there. Turn oh, it's a piece of scallion. You like three pieces of sea in there. No worries, darling. All gone. That's good? Can I have more peas? More peas in your soup? Yes. Put it in the oven like that. The food will come up. The peas? Yes, please. Come on, peas. Where are you? As much peas, it like the peas in the one corner. <laughs> Let me share my note now. 
real Jamaica chicken foot soup with red peas. I don't like boiled dumplings, so I'm only gonna have one dumpling. Later on, when yellow comes, he can, he can have any amount he wants. And I'm gonna put some chicken foot in mine. Azania! Yeah. Love my carrots. Carrots. So when Star and Hobby and Dane come, we have a lot of soup to drink. So guys, as you can see, I'm sweating like crazy. It's so hot here in Jamaica. But this soup is absolutely delish. When I finish drinking my soup, I'm going to take a nice cold shower. Because it's super hot. So Azania is ready now for the taste testing. <laughs> Let's see how it goes. Let's see how it goes. I want to hear what Azania have to say. Oh, let me move this out. Do we? Tell me how it go. Tell me how it go. We know it's hot. What is it? I love it. Okay. I give it um, 9 out of 10. What? Ah, cool, no man. You could have a little more spicy, not true. Mm -hmm. Can we put it in the pepper a little bit? But otherwise, from that, come on, tell me what you're tasting. What? Let me take, give it one more. All right. I'm definitely tasting the thyme. Okay. I'm tasting some the cut soup itself. Like a little bit of chicken flavor, but like not too much. So it's just good for you because you don't like when it have too much of the chicken chicken taste. And it's thick. And the peas is well cooked, it's very soft. Okay. All right, there goes. <laughs> she don't like the skeleton in there. Sorry about that, darling. <laughs> All right, I said, yeah, cool, no man. I want to see a tasty dumpling, you know, because you're a dumpling head. Dumpling is very hot. <laughs> when you burn up your mouth. <laughs> What? Really? Wow, good, good. I'm glad you like it. Yes, so yes, a mommy, she grade me soup, guys. She said 9 out of 10 because it could be a little more spicy. All right, well, that's good enough. Hope you guys enjoy my video. I am going to feed my face and wait for yellow. So I hope you guys will see yellow in some part of the video.